Merry Christmas Eve, everyone. You're looking at my Christmas nails before I have any artwork done on them. And I am going to be showing you how I did the snowflake and the reindeer. And it looks kind of like a pottery. Now that little truck will be in its own video coming up next. So be watching for it. First of all, I apply a thin layer of a base gel for gel polish. And then I'll cure that for 30 seconds. And now I'm going to apply Madame Glam's Perfect White. And I'm going to apply this all over the nail bed, taking care around that smile line, making sure that you get it really nice and neat. And now here I have a little bit of the Perfect White on a tile. And I'm going to come in with a liner brush and just tidy up the cuticle area and make sure I got that really well. And now I use my brush with a little bit of isopropyl alcohol and I come in and I clean around that smile line to make it nice and crisp. And when I have the nail where I want it, I just go ahead and cure that. And now I'm on my second layer of the Perfect White Gel Polish. And again, taking care around the smile line. And when I have it just the way I want it, I will cure that in the lamp for 30 seconds. And I am using the LV May White to do my 3D gel work. And here I'm just drawing out my little reindeer. And once I get this all drawn out, I will cure that and then fill it in. And you can see now where I filled in the reindeer and I cured that. And now I'm coming in with a second layer. I just trace around the outside of the reindeer in parts and then I fill it in with another layer of gel. Every so often I clean out my brush with isopropyl alcohol. This helps me to keep the bristles together and give me crisp, straight lines. And I'm using Madame Glam's True Fire Brick Red. Just a little drop there on the tile and then I come in with a no wipe top coat and I'm going to use about three drops of it. And I'm making this like a glaze, like a glaze for pottery and it's a little supposed to be a little bit transparent so i mix it up and then i test it a little bit on the tile to see how clear it is it doesn't have to be like super clear you know you do want to have some color there and then this is the first layer and i want to keep the first layer a little bit thin so when you see it pulling around the reindeer, I kind of have to brush that off because I really don't want it pulling just yet. And I'm wiping some of that glaze out of where it pulled by the horns and around the reindeer. Now I switch to a brush that has some frayed bristles. That helps me to clean out some of that gel or glaze around the reindeer. And now it's ready to be cured. Now I'm applying the second layer of the glaze. And this is the layer that I will allow to pull around the reindeer and give it that pottery glazed look and I'm just brushing just a little bit out of there just kind of spreading it around now I'm going to go ahead and cure this time to top coat and I start with the tip and now I just top coat around the nail bed area and reindeer and once I get that top coated I will cure that for one minute and that is the finished nail. And this is the snowflake nail. I'm not going to show you how I did the nail bed because I already showed you that. And I'll just show you how I drew out the snowflake. Now with this snowflake, I only did one layer. And once I get it all drawn, then I will cure that in the lamp for one minute. I did cure the snowflake and now I'm coming in and doing just some detail 
little dots all around it and then I will give it another cure of one minute and here I am using Lost in the Woods by Madame Glam and I did the same thing mixed it with some clear no wipe top coat and I'm coming in and glazing my nail glazing the snowflake it's beautiful it just turned out beautiful and I go ahead and I give that a cure and now I'm applying the second layer of my glaze and I will cure that again for one minute I really love how these turned out and now I'm just going to top coat again starting with the tip and then top coating the snowflake area on the nail bed and then I will cure this for one minute. Here's another look at the finished nails. I will be having a separate video on how I applied the jewels. And I will also have a, another video coming up next of how I did that little red truck there. Thank you all so much for watching. A Merry Christmas to you all. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.